So this thing's called the thylacine, or it's nicknamed the Tasmanian tiger because it basically looks like a dog with tiger stripes on its back, but it's actually much more closely related to a kangaroo or a wombat, and you might be able to guess, but they mainly live on Tasmania, with some of them also living in Australia. So, so to quickly go over it, the last thylacine alive was held in a zoo that we actually were able to go to. We're now at the spot where the zoo used to be of the last thylacine, last Tasmanian tiger, which is kind of sad. I almost feel like I should have brought like flowers or something. Look how, look how sad they all are. <laughs> no, I got frowny faces. Just beyond was the Tasmanian tiger cage. The last thylacine in captivity died here in 1936. To explain it as simply as possible, the zoo literally forgot to let the last thylacine inside, so it just died due to exposure. You kill them! You kill them! You kill them! But as for how the other ones went extinct, they would eat all their chickens, so that's why they would kill them. And they even offered a reward to a tiger hunter to hunt them. That dude literally massacred the species. <laughs> yes. Literally ended a species. Maybe he had a really, he had a favorite chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like John Wick. Morning, chicken. Yeah, I'll kill every last one of them. Yeah. His name was Mr. Cluck. 